Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I've had these books for a little while now. They were so kindly sent to me by Sun Life Drawing. Uh, this is one of their newest coloring books to come out. Um, and they are both called World of Mice. One of them, however, is a color by number version, and the other is not. So you pick out your own colors. Um, you'll notice the color by number version has more of a greenish type of background, whereas the other one has more of a bluish type of background. The picture itself is identical, except for this one. Again, you will notice that there are numbers there, so you know which one right off the bat is the color by number version and which is the regular version. So I am going to take the color by number version and do a flip through of that, but keep in mind the other book is identical without the numbers. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, this one only has a 12 color palette. Uh, this book is much simpler than their other color by number books. Their other color by number books, I believe had, had I think they all have 23 colors, 22? No, I think it's 23 colors. I know the last one is magenta. Um, I think it's 23. This one only has the 12 colors. And as you can see, it's only, we have black, gray, brown, red, orange, yellow, light green, green, blue, light blue, purple, and pink. So these are, again, very simplistic colors that you're going to have in any of your marker sets, probably even gel pen sets. Um, I don't know with these being larger spaces to color in how easy gel pens would work. Uh, to color with in these books, but markers would work great, uh, colored pencils. To me, I would be doing all of these in marker, whether it be water-based or alcohol-based, but even your smaller sets of markers are going to work great in here just because of that limited color palette. So here is your nameplate page, and here shows your color palette. You can maybe test out your colors to see if um, they are what you you want. You know, you can test them out on here. And over here, it says 30 beautiful large print designs with cute mice in funny situations will bring you a lot of fun and happiness. No need to think which color to use. Just follow the 12 color palette and enjoy coloring. So this is probably going to be a great book for me to color with or color out of uh, just as some nice, relaxing, stress-free type of coloring. So yeah, I can see coloring out of either one of these books this month. So this is the picture from the front. Isn't that not cute? Look at this little mouse giggling. I think it was just adorable. How oh, cute. Do I need to zoom in just a little bit or can you see it good? Okay, here we go. Mousies on the teddy bear. Having a tea party, huh? Well, that one has no more tea. <laughs> oh, there they are flying on a paper airplane big balloons. So this is why I say I don't think gel pens would work real well in this book. Um, markers, again, would work fantastic. Or if you are a colored pencil person, they would work well in here too. Oh, they're mixing up some cereal. <laughs> they are just so darn cute. And what are they doing? Are they like in a shoe, in a spoon going through water? Kind of looks like it, huh? Mm -hmm. Eating fruit. He looks pretty full. <laughs> Mm 
Oh, there they're taking a shower. Didn't know mice used soap and shampoo, did ya? <laughs> we have some clean mice there. Oh, time to go night night. <laughs> Oh, some more playing in the water. Oh, they're dancing with the ballerina. So you can see every other one is landscape and then the opposite is portrait. So whether you like the portrait pictures or the landscape, you'll have an equal amount in here. Oh, here they're painting. <laughs> Looking at the gnome. These just look like so much fun. I'm going to have to try one of these tonight, I think. <laughs> Ooh, snack time. Looks like they're making jam bread, huh? Ooh, are they having a Sunday? No, that's the world. <laughs> I was thinking it was ice cream in a bowl. <laughs> no, I think that's the globe and they're traveling. And they're in a boot. <laughs> he's digging, he's going into the hole in the boot. Got him blindfolded. He must be jingling the bell for him to find him, right? <laughs> Aha, playing around the kitty. Tickling his nose with a feather. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> I don't think they better wake that kitty up. <laughs> Oh, under the mushroom. Must be raining out. Yeah, 10 is a light blue, so those would be blue. Hmm, <laughs> going around and around on a record. Don't see too many record players like this anymore, do you? Although I think vinyl records are starting to come back a little. <laughs> Sitting on a birdie. <laughs> Piggyback ride. Uh oh, they better stay away from that mouse trap. <laughs> Looks like they're stealing the cheese anyhow. They're sneaky. They know how to get away with it. Oh, and some more coloring and painting. Kind of right up our alley, right? And they're in a coloring book. Hmm, what are they all doing in here? This looks like a Christmas one. An ornament. I think that's supposed to be Santa. So that would be a cute Christmas one. Oh, chomping on the cheese. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> it's a cheese tower. Boy, that's a mouse heaven right there, right? Well, we got some sewing. Bunch of teacups, tea kettle, and some goodies, of course. <laughs> Look at the cute snail. All these guys are just so happy looking, aren't they? Just make you happy coloring it and so. Sliding down the leaf. <laughs> oh, great Halloween one with the pumpkin. So there's a couple holiday ones in here. A 
We got a rocking horse, a camera. Oh, two landscape ones in a row. <laughs> and that is it. Here is the thank you page asking if you would please leave a review on Amazon. And then all their social media information, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. They are all sunlight drawing on all three platforms. So then they give you a free page. This is from the World of Mice Stained Glass Color by Number Book. And I don't remember that book. Hmm. Am I just having a memory problem here? I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> is that book out? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, World of Mice Stained Glass, because this is the World of Mice, but I don't remember the stained glass color by number, unless it's one that's coming out, but, you know, if it's a preview of one that's coming out, because that's cute, that's adorable. And here we do have, oh, there are 22 colors, standard in all of their other color by number books, 22 being the magenta. But yeah, this looks like on so I do hope this is a book that is coming out in the near future cute all right so that is the world of mice large print color by number again a much easier book with only 12 colors and then the same pictures in here but you pick out your colors so Aren't they cute? Cute, cute, cute. So there's the gnome picture. So yes, your kids could, you know, join in on you coloring, or join in on you, join in with you and color in some of these, you know, pictures in these books because they are much easier. So that is the review of these uh, two versions of this book from Sun Life Drawing. Seeing as how this next month, uh, the month of September, is going to be Color by Number Month, um, hosted with myself, Zoe Archer, and Nikki in Niagara, we will probably be coloring a picture out of this color by number book on camera for a color along. So look forward to that um, in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and these flip throughs of these cute books. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.